Okay, so we're starting this again. Yeah, so it's the Stiletto Dagger Build Session for Take Two, Turning the Blade. All righty. Don't click there. Maybe mute the button. Don't click there. Happy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, check. All righty. So, ladies and gentlemen, technology is kicking my ass every single time. Yeah. Uh, so, the internet connection dropped completely. I uh, phoned my ISP and uh, they reckon, well, it's not on their side. So, well, we're back at it. Yeah. Sorry about that. So, um, well, how's it going, brother? Come on, don't just stand there looking all cool. How's it going? All right, so we're going to continue. So what I have done in the meanwhile, okay, I have, uh, remember, well, for the guys that watched the last session, I said that I'm going to move this closer to lessen the amount of chatter, and I've done that. Yeah. My God, I reckon you must pay your bill. <laughs> I must pay my bill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let me just make sure I've got everything locked up. And now I can work on the centerpiece and I need to thin that down. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut a section to see where I'm at. I already set my vernier to the correct thickness that I want. So all I'm doing is just cutting a first piece so I can actually just get a, a feel for how thick. Obviously, that needs to be a lot thinner. Calvin Gatto, what's up, my friend? Calvin, how's it going, brother? Oh, so that's a bit of a that cut. is maybe a bit much. Slither in, yeah. So I just want to get rid of uh, some of this material. Quite a nice little sliver we got going there. And I need to get to. Uh... Yeah, that's it. So that is my final depth. We know that the other side is going to be slightly thinner. And that there's going to be a taper. So, bro, how's it feel? Remember rule what? Yeah, buddy. Don't screw up, right? So now I'm just stopping. I just don't want to cut too thin. So what I'm doing is I am just measuring where I should be. Nice. So I'm just oversized still. So what I want to do now is I just not that way. I actually want to try that other cutter again. So let me just do that. Uh, I'll be with it. Just slap that in. Get that shoulder all squared up. Same thing on this side. So 
Roman has 0 0.6 down there. Deck by Matt again this side. Come back to a 1.4. Over to this side again. I want to cut back to a 1.4 as well. It might be a bit thin, but we're good. Yeah, why the hell not? Then I'm going to step over to that there. That's where my shoulder ends. Back to a zero point eight. And go back here and cut that to a zero point eight. I haven't screwed this up yet, which is good. I want to cut this down ever so slightly. Maybe a bit more. Done. Different slides there. Oh, that can come down even more. I think that's good for now. All right, you're right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to have to get in there with what? With the old file. Am I? Or am I just going to turn that nib around and then half round it up? I think we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that nib around. Nib the cutter. Yeah. We turn that cutter around. Oh, that one was locked up quite nicely. I mean, turn this cutter around. My magnetic cutter. Now we're not going to overextend it so much this time. You didn't move your, your clean camera at one stage when you were busy now. That one. Why? Because it's on a different angle. That's why I'm asking. No, I didn't it move. no it's in the same angle. Same angle. It's because, you moved. It's because I moved the piece. Same angle. Yeah, so now we've got the round cutter in there, and what I'm going to do is end up on this side. I'm going to cut it around. Oh, she's a lot happier there. Stop when she starts screaming. That's a good lesson, that. So I just want to start the round because I'm obviously going to be finishing those rounds on uh, with the files. Oh, 
I can't see squat man. There we go. So at least I can see the tip again. And then what I want to do is that side there is going to be rounded. So I just want to break that corner. Yeah. Do the same thing on the other side. Break that corner. that corner so now i know in the middle of this one there has to be a a slot we're not going to cut that in at the end because what i want to do now is uh just get all the pigs back in a row here yeah and this we know needs to be a taper so obviously i can cut a bit more informa uh, information i can cut more of a, more material there but we're going to go to files Oh, this is going to take a while. Maybe I can get rid of a little bit more material there. Just a bit. Here on me. So all I'm doing at the moment is obviously just eyeing that taper. I think it might be a bit thicker the back there. It's not too bad yet. Yet, uh, we're not done yet. So, in there. How's it going, brother? Oh, this is still a bit thick yeah, so uh well at least not bumping anymore so that's i'm just going to go to a finer file and i just clean that up Let's have a look at that shall we that is looking good so now so the guys wondering what we're working on currently we are working on that taper right there yeah so from there to there so now we're just going to take a couple of measurements just make sure that i'm in the ballpark yeah We got a five, so that side, according to my drawing, that's still a bit thick. It's good. 
And uh, the underside. Oh, so that should be it. Mario says, fine face, keep up the good work. Excellent, brother. Thank you, man. It's also a bit thick, so that's good. I'm about a millimeter uh, oversized on this side and on that side, which is cool. Yeah? So I'd much rather be oversized than undersized. That's a life lesson right there. Okay, so now we're going to go on to that ball. I want to start shaping, which will be that there. Yeah, so, oh, let me rather do this side. So that, can you see that there? Yeah? So we're going to start doing that side. Go! We got a file. Can I move this out of the way even more? Yes, I can. Right, so I've got my file, and we're just going to focus on that little corner. File is a bit big. If you check the fact that I can't see what the hell I'm doing, but it'll remove material very quickly, which is uh, what I'm after. Yeah. Just want to start shaping that dome. She knows. Because using my needle files for this little trick here is not going to do it. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to cut those shoulders. So let's use that. I'll need to cut those two little inner shoulders. I'm going to have to cut them thinner, lower. Yeah, am I going to do that now though? What you say, Sean? No, no. Do it little. Don't do it right now. Otherwise, it might go too thin. Yeah, but I can't get in the file. Can't get there with the file. So I'm going to have to funking cut it. So why did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> so I can blame you. And then okay. you didn't agree with me. So now I can't blame you if it screws up. Yeah. Because if you said yes and I stuff up, yeah, then it's your fault. Yeah, it's the way it works. I know what happens when you go thin. <laughs> That's why I'm just saying nothing. <laughs> so I can't tell you how many of these uh, little projects I've completely broken because I get overexcited and go too thin. Yeah? Is that going to now fit? Is that... Ooh, where we at now? We're on 1.6, so we're going to go down to a 2.4. Yeah, 2.4. Radio needs to talk to me. Hello, Wolf. How's it going, gentlemen? So we're going to cut that one a bit wider as well, and we're going to go to a... 2.4. Yeah. Now we take this thing out of the way. And then we a triangular file. I still can't see squat now. Maybe it's because of my light that is not where I need it. As you can tell, this is also a lot finer of a file.
all we're trying to do is just get that little corner and you can't see so that little corner there where's me point file so all i'm trying to do is just get that little corner there and you can't see anything man that corner there all i'm trying to do is just around this section over ever so slightly Now we're going to go to the other side. And before guys uh, start thinking that I'm using special files, these are just files. Just normal, normal files. These are fat files, but they are uh, pretty much done already. Yeah. So it's not my best files. It's not my brightest files. It's not my sharpest files. So maybe we can change this angle ever so slightly. Yeah. So now let's make tripod fast as with. Just grab hold of the tripod there. Thank you. How's that? Okay. Is that better? So when you do the under file thing like I'm doing now, make sure that the handle is completely off the lathe bed, yeah? So if this thing grabs it, so then just toss it. Um, and if you drop it, it just lies there. But if I've got it here, it's now going to be stuck in the lathe bed. And that will cause a whole heap of trouble for you. So don't do it, man. Who? Guy, how's it going, buddy? What you up to, brother? It's not just a shout out. Let's have a conversation, yeah. So he obviously doesn't have. He, he obviously doesn't have anything else to do than uh, watch me, yeah. Watch me. Hopefully, not screw up. Oh, dude. To to Thanks, brother. It's appreciated. In Texas. I haven't been in Texas for a while. I think it was in uh, 2017. That I was in Texas. And come to think of it, it also snowed. Exactly, man. <laughs> exactly. All right, so I've got a, a semi domed what what there. Yeah, so that XN piece is cool. Um, I did manage to round off the little shoulders there, but we'll cut that back in. Uh, it'll also look a lot neater as soon as I just do those uh, half rounds. So maybe let's just. Quickly climb in there with a half round file. Just clean that up. Brother, this is Africa, right? Um, and uh, when you find yourself in Africa, a lot of the time, you don't want to go back. Yeah? So, South Africa is uh, both a third world country as well as a first world country. Technology-wise, most of the time, first world. Infrastructure, government, blah, 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 pretty much third world. 
Well, that is my take on it, yeah. So every time and then, every now and then when you get to, uh, well, when I get to go and visit foreign countries, yeah, always amazed at what can be done and the, how things are running and blah, blah, blah. But it's not long, then uh, you kind of long for uh, back to Africa. Yeah. So uh, I can tell you one thing. A lot of guys come over here. Mr. Uh, Michal Zwan being one of them. Come for a vacation. And they decide, hell no, I'm not going back. And then end up just staying. Yeah, so those are looking a lot better at the moment. And as soon as I clean those internal shoulders up, Tad, that'll look even better. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think without further ado, that's what we're going to do. Clean off my little bit so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. See, this is actually where I do need my... Uh, my glasses. Oh, I have got no idea. Hold on. What's my problem? Why can't I cut deeper? Because I'm jamming. I need to take my cutter out further. Because I'm jamming against the... Uh, tail stock. Yeah. So I need to take that cutter out and move it slightly forward. Real pro stuff, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be more than sufficient. Now I've seen from the cut that that cutter is not straight. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Nice. So I'm going to get that down to a three, I think. So that's just a arbitrary number on my dial. He grew up here. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, he grew up here. From Who am I thinking of then? Then he went over. Over where? To Holland? Am I correct or am I completely screwing up? No, he reckons he just came back over again. Oh, excellent. So we're going to cut down to a 34 there. Yeah, that's better. Bring it in. So, good morning from Ohio. Excellent. Good morning, sir. How's that looking? That is looking fairly cool, man. Oh, I should have untightened that screw, man. Okay, so now we're getting that triangle file again. Don't knock it against the this head and leaf there. And break that nice corner. Yeah. Do the same thing on the other side. Nice. 
Sorry, I'm speaking to myself all completely off off uh, mic. So I just got onto a needle file. Liking that. So, what we're having for lunch, Sean? For lunch? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what they eat. I think what we need to do is fork on the bright. Yeah? Why not, I think? I like that. So let's just slow this down and have a look. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I do want to get in there with uh, my round file, which I've got no idea what I did with it. So this is my tin of files. Yeah, so these are just the ones that I bring out that I thought I'd need. And obviously there's way more than... Uh, Ah, there we go. The one I'm looking for was obviously lying right next to the tin, yeah? So that's a half round, and I want to just clean up that whole shoulder. Pork stew. Yeah. Why did you say pork stew? Because there's pork stew meat and there's pork. Okay, well, that's good rationale. I'll go with that. So, we are to, to do the necessary, Sean. Have you asked Tulu to do the required what what? Okay. And what was the answer? Now? Yeah. Okay. Why? Because I'm hungry. All right. So uh, with that, what we have there, I now need a uh, small little needle file. Uh, I'm looking for a triangle or no, maybe just a, a leaf shape. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Look at that. In the fridge, if there was only a uh, Burovors, yes, then we would have done Burovors rolls, but we, we kind of did that yesterday, yeah? I do want those that are a bit of a taper going down. I would like that. Look. So I need to pretty much complete this curvature before I can do the cutting into it. 
because as soon as you try to uh, do the symmetry on the curve, once you've got a line in between it, it's going to screw with your eye, and you're going to battle getting that symmetry done. We're almost there. It's going to something a bit more aggressive. up those deep cut marks and then we should be done man well should be done with this little pot emphasize the undercut again this side same thing there. lucky that go so, that's done, that's done. We've got the half curve, that flat's done, that's done. We've got the taper, we know it's a bit thick, but we're cool, because I need to cut in a section on this side, and a section on this side. And then go and mark. Let's, call, let's, let's actually look at the drawing this time, yeah? And that needs to be, what's it, four millimeters? So we'll chalk that up. At a formal, make a little mark. Same for the under. Formal, make a little mark. Oh, and that one doesn't want to mark. There we go. Change that toppy top again. And listen to it rain, man. Okay, there's people writing book loads up there. I've already read the previous one for you, and it was on the screen. Oh, excellent. That's good. You guys need to keep an eye on Sean, yeah? Mario. Bro, you need to upgrade to a 4K Ultra Cam that brings you coffee and cigarettes after lunch also. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a good idea. Uh, but for 4K Ultra, yeah, no. Uh, it's not going to happen, man. Well, I say it's not going to happen. It might. Let me rather rephrase and say, not at this stage. I'm going to go into a depth of one there. Yes, now I'm just being lazy. There's nothing I can do about it, man. 
now what we're doing is I'm cutting the bottom half. So this is about halfway down the blade. We've got a second accent piece. Tell you one thing, it is uh, really dodgy working as close to that this head. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that center off. Then. I'm gonna cut that accent there. little one the bottom as well Lawrence Hose wants to know for the number how many is this up? Oh crap, I don't know. I have got no idea. Sorry, there's a, there's a bit of concentration happening here right now.
might have cut that groove a bit prematurely. Have I? I think I might have. Cut that groove a bit wide. I think that's what's getting my eye. No, I have not. Anthony, you should know this, man. I don't even pretend to know what the hell I'm on about. I mean, you buy a lady and you think, how difficult can it be? Yeah? And it's not difficult at all if you're not if you don't know it's supposed to be difficult. Yeah. And if you're honest with yourself, and if you're honest with yourself and you tell yourself, yeah, you know what, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, then you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. But the only way to learn is by doing. Well, that's my two cents worth. I think that back part is starting to uh, look like something. And slowly but surely get to where we want to be. What I'm doing is I'm constantly glancing over at the sketch. Just to make sure that the depths in between all of these uh, kind of resemble what I have on the sketch. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, man. So if the file finds the chuck with the point down up, it's a problem. But when it finds it with the tip down, yeah, it just makes a, a nice little sound. But if that tip is turned up, Man, but you haven't uh, learned any new words from me today, which is cool. Yeah. All right, so let's. I, I, I believe, and it is pissing down, man. It is absolutely pissing down outside. So what do we got there? So that's what we're going for. Yeah, from there to there, which is what we have from there to there. 
which is good. It actually looks like the picture, which is always a bonus, yeah? Okay, we know that needs to come down ever so slightly, but we're not going to do that because I might just facet that. Uh, we can actually move on to the blade. I believe... Okay, Sean would be a to ask the question at the end. So ask the question, Sean. Um, I have a bottle of powdered ivory from when I was young and dumb. Can I, can I mix it with super glue and use it to do some inlays? And how deep should I cut the groove? Uh, brother, Sean, you've got my number. Yeah, so send me a photo of what you want to do. Uh, powdered ivory. Powdered ivory. Powdered ivory. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do a test first before you're going to apply that. Yeah, so build yourself a little, I don't know, a little something, a little insert, and um, pour the ivory, put super glue on, and then go and finish it because I believe it's going to be porous. Yeah, so I, I believe that your, your uh, thing is going to be porous. I don't know. I've never done it. Um, who do you know, man? Who do you know? But I would uh, definitely do a test piece first. All right, so uh, are we go back on this, and I want to turn this back section down. Yeah. So that is actually going to be. About, about, about the thickness of the actual blade. I like that better. So now I'm not measuring. I'm now just looking at that transition there and then this here. Keep in mind what I want to do, but I might want to just take that thickness that we have on that one edge. And continue the blade from that thickness onwards. So we're slightly oversized. I like that. I do like that. So if we turn that into a triangle blade, that's going to be even uh, thinner. Well, it's going to look thinner. Yeah, so we're good with that. So what we're going to do is uh, move this up. Yeah. Unlock there, unlock there, move the stealth stop out of the way. Uh, my chucky. Unlock that bad boy. S stick it in there. Tail stock back in. Just nip it up ever so slightly. It's cold now. That up. Yeah, it started pissing down again. Well, the good thing about this is I'm getting free water, yeah? Which is cool. This happened last week. But it's going to happen. Yeah, it had to happen last week, but. Uh, well, rather late than never. So the guys are thinking, does it normally rain in South Africa every winter? No. No, it does not. Okay, so uh, that's locked up. No, it's not. Let me just double check because I can't remember. What the hell did I do with the key now? There it is. Thank you. Let's see. It looks like I locked it up already. Okay, so it's everything out of the way. Yeah, I'll start her up. Done. So now we're going to start up here and do careful cuts. Oh, she's not happy. She is not happy me doing that.
Oh, it's going to be a lot of thin cuts, that is. I can actually thin that out on the grinder very quickly, man. But we'll continue playing on the lathe. But he really doesn't like those cuts. Okay, so uh, to play it safe, what I'm going to do is uh, not continue cutting, yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do a depth cut. Get rid of all that. Because that's just asking for a hurting. <laughs> Right at the end here. I'm just going to do a I cut to kind of get to the depth that I'm looking for. Yeah. For the tip of that blade, and that's it. The rest of it I will go and clean up on the grinder. Yeah. So that's it. So from that there to the tip thickness, which is actually going to sit on the end, um, that I can just do on the grinder. Yeah, and that's going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker uh, for my skill level. Yeah. So that's it. That's where we. That, that, that's where we stop this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to be taking uh, that off the lathe. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up in the grind room and uh, then I'm going to continue with that grind, yeah? Uh, or, yeah, yeah, I'm going to continue with the grind. I'm going to do the taper, then I'll chuck it up um, and do the tri-blade index, yeah? So that is it. I do need to just recut the thread at the back or just loosen it up. So we're just going to, I don't know, grab it there. Give me that uh, thread. Completely and just take the soak and just move it back in there. Yeah. All I want to do because every single time you put that live center up, it uh, will crush the beginning of that thread. Yeah, we don't want that. Done. Nice. Okay. So. Ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty much it. Thank you for spending a bit of time with us. That is a dodgy, uh, well, stiletto blade looking thing. Yes, no, it doesn't even look like a blade. Wait for it. Yeah, it will get there. All right. Thank you very much for spending a bit of time with me. 
uh, on this, the turning, let me just take that out of there, turning of the blade on the lathe, yeah, um, so next one we'll do a in the grind room where I'm just going to taper that thing, done, then we'll uh, chuck it up, we'll uh, try index this thing, and then we'll do the taper on it, yeah, have uh, fun, enjoy, and we'll, uh, well, pretty much catch you on the next one, thank you for tuning in, and uh, done.